In this presentation, I'm going to talk about fill-ins. As you can see, I've got a wide selection of high-quality fill-ins here that can be used in confectionery work. These items can make your life a lot easier and increase productivity. I'm going to talk about ganaches now. Ganaches are made from boiled cream and melted chocolate. In front of me here, I've got a ganache made by Kesco, which is a ganache flavoured with alcohol. It also gives it extra shelf life. It has slightly firm texture that requires softening down in the microwave. This is creme a la carte. Once again, it's another ganache. It's made by Calabar. It has alcohol in it, once again, to give it an extended shelf life. The consistency of this is slightly thinner, uh, but once again, requires going through a microwave to soften prior to use. Here we have nut paste. Nut paste is where we take the nuts and grind them down into a paste with no chocolate. Sometimes we may add sugar to it. It can be used to flavour other masses or chocolate can be added and you can make your own prolongé. As you can see, they are very smooth and oily. This nut paste from Cockerberry has a very crunchy texture because the nuts have not been fully ground down. These products are all prolongés. They are made up of ground nuts and chocolate. Here we have now two blocks of proligné made by Calabar. Relatively firm to touch, but if you scrape back, you can see that they are quite pliable. The other two blocks I've got here is Jandouille. This is firmer to touch, as it has more chocolate in it than the proligné. Both products need to be softened down prior to use. Sometimes products are produced for specific uses. This Jandua uh, product is much thinner than the normal uh, product and it's made really to, be go, well, to go into things such as ice creams and creams as a flavouring agent. All of these prolignés are suitable for softening down and aerating by whipping up on a mixer machine. The benefit of aerating is to increase the volume and also the lightness. Kesco do their own muslin mix, which is pre-aerated. Here we have two types of marzipan. When we talk about marzipan, most people think about the marzipan that they see in a supermarket. This marzipan, the majority of it, is made with sugar, with very little almond in it whatsoever. The two marzipans we've got in front of us here, really delicious marzipan, which is made with high proportions of almonds. The one on the left is from Lebecca, which has 65% almond content. It is a very soft marzipan, ideally suited for desserts and petit fours. The second marzipan, which has a 35% almond content, is much firmer and more suited for modeling purposes. Let's have a look at some of the fillings now that we can use for prolignés. Here we have a ready-made fondant. Fondant is made from sugar, water and glucose, boiled until we form a paste. This particular fondant can be softened down in a microwave, little peppermint essence added to it, tiny weeny bit of green colouring, and piped into a prolignée shell, which would give you a peppermint cream. As I move further down, We've got what we call a coconut mass now. It can be softened down in the microwave and used for piping into prolines, or it can be used as a layering of a cut and dip proline. The two products I've got here, one is called the creme caramel mass from Kesco, which is a superb free flowing caramel filling, good for prolines, but also good as a flavoring for ice cream. Then we've got the caramel fill from Calabar. As you can see, it's much more of a, a thicker consistency, but once again makes a superb filling for prolignés. As we move down, we've got the Dulce de Leche, which is a soft milk toffee filling. Once again, good for prolines, or could be used in ice cream manufacture. To maximise the shelf life of your product, you need to remember three things. 
First thing is hygiene. Second thing is when you're depositing the filling into the mould, there are no air pockets. And then the third thing is the water activity of the filling. The less water that's there, the longer the shelf life you'll have.